my lords, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2 and the Gorges of Shikoku, the Japanese themed map that is available on the Steam Workshop. Today's episode starts here at the industrial park that we have on the outskirts of Uwe Jima, and that's going to be the focus of our efforts today. I've done some testing uh, before I launched the episode and it is entirely possible to have these or some of these lines rejigged and replaced by some rail lines. Likewise, the rice delivery line that we have over by Iwano Mori, we can also replace that truck line with a train line and it makes a decent profit. So that's what we're aiming to do today, replace some of the truck lines and rework some of our delivery lines for a uh, different style of, uh, yeah, <laughs> we're basically going to get rid of some of the trucks and replace them with trains and some of the trains that we do have are going to be rerouted. So let's bring up the UI so we can make a start immediately. So as I said, we're here by the industrial complex that we have by Uwe Jima. Now, to get all this done, we are going to need to do some extensive terraforming. And the first one we're going to focus on is the rice field up there in the hillside above Iwanomori. So if we head on over there, we can see as it stands right now, there is absolutely no place to put down a cargo station. Hence why we had to go for a road truck station uh, when we first started out. However, now we have let's let's be honest infinite money let's call it what it is at this point uh, we can afford to do very expensive very extensive terraforming to make room for a freight station so let's go ahead and do that first of all so we're gonna first of all flatten off a nice big area here and this is gonna cost a small fortune to do this but that's absolutely fine that's not a problem at this point in our playthrough. I mean, we are in easy mode anyway, so we can afford to be a bit more indulgent and a bit more opulent when it comes to terraforming and things like that. So this is no problem. So if we have to spend 60 million plus on some terraforming, then so be it. So yeah, we're just gonna get us a nice open area here. We are gonna smooth all this off in, uh, when we're finished, of course, just to bring it all together but for now we just want to make that nice big flat area where we can put down a nice big freight station for our trains so I think that will do for now so what we're gonna get is a cargo station here let's just have a look we'll have well we'll technically have a pass through although it's not gonna pass through anywhere uh, after here and we want to make sure it's a cargo station of course we only need one platform here because we're only picking up one commodity. We're not going to be dropping anything off. Um, you know, we only need standard tracks, but as you can see, we have now unlocked high speed tracks if we need them. But for this, uh, standard is going to work just fine. And we're going to put our station over here like this. In fact, we're going to have it angled like this. So like there, we have the connection. And we'll just, in fact, we'll call that, we'll, we'll, we will keep that as Iwanomori Halt. It does kind of fit with what it's doing. But we are going to expand it. Ooh, what's this? Is this just a new style building? Just, I don't know what it is, but it's, we're having one. And yeah, what I was going to put down are some cargo buildings, just to increase our holding capacity, just to make sure we don't... Uh, Oh, we can build up a nice amount of food while the trains are on their way. And then what we're going to do is run a double track down the, down the hillside. We'll keep the catenary at this point. We don't want any of those tunnels, thank you very much. And nor do we want you to rise upwards. We want you to stay level, in fact, really. We want you to be heading downwards because you're going down the hill towards the interchange at Iwanomori. And this is going to do awful, awful things with the terrain, as we can see, but that's fine because we can afford to tidy it all up afterwards. So let's see where we are going. Yep, pretty fine there. So there's a starting point for our service. At this point, we'll let the, the, the track start to fall away. And we'll come as far as there. We have a tunnel. It's only a very small tunnel, so I dare say we can get rid of that tunnel. And we will obviously modify the terrain a little bit later on. 
Now what we're going to need over here at the cargo station at the food production plant is a new platform and set of tracks. So let's put the tracks down first of all and they're going to go the entire length of the, the station as it stands. In fact just to be a bit different I might even have it extended a little bit just have a nice long extended platform. And then we're going to go with the default style platform for this one just to mix it up a little bit have that bit of variety at the station so it looks a little bit different and again we'll have it go the full length like that it doesn't need to be that long not even close but it's just to like i said just to mix it up you know make it a little bit different now we've got that platform ready and waiting we can bring this outwards we want a flat area first of all and what we're going to do is just here have a line that comes in like that so there's access onto our existing lines and then from here we're going to head up the hill we're going to be obviously a bit slow on this uh, this corner here because the the radius although saying that at this point we can get rid of this road and that doesn't mean the trucks are going to be rerouted temporarily over the level crossing here but that's fine and then we're just going to smooth that off there where the terrain was altered by the road and then we're just going to bring this track down here as i said the the uh, speed's going to be a little slow because it's a tight turn but that's okay let's make sure it's got a nice level junction which it pretty much does we'll we'll go with that and then after the junction we're going to have it split off into two tracks because we're going to have two trains running this line and the idea is well one's at one station collecting the rice the other one will be dropping off the rice to be converted into food for onward delivery and consumption and we'll have that if we can get that to 50 yes we can that will be absolutely perfect so that's what we're doing here we do need to smooth off some of this terrain so i'll do that very quickly right now All right, there we go. I'll do a bit more off camera, but for now it's fine. It's got rid of the the angular style uh, terrain modification that the game had generated when we laid the tracks down, so it's tidier. Right, what we need now, obviously some signals here and here at each end of our passing loop. So we'll have one just there, and then we'll have another one up here. And that's gonna be enough. We don't need any more than that. At this point then what we can do is actually set up the line for this. So we're going to go line manager, new line, and we're coming from Iwanomori Halt down to the food production. This is shipping the f rice, which is the darker of the two oranges. As, in fact, no, I'd say it's... We'll go for the lighter of the two. That's the same as the food, uh, the, uh, the truck delivery line, so we'll keep it the same. At the halt, we want to be waiting as long as it takes to get a full load, which is not going to be very long at all, let's be honest. And we'll do that. And there, we'll make sure we're not taking anything back with us. Not that we can, because we set nothing to be unloaded down here. But there, we just double and, and you know, double made sure that nothing is going to be accidentally brought back up to the rice fields. And we'll rename this now to Rice Freight. And this is Iwainomori. I believe that's how you spell it. Just look at the station name there yes it is and now we can purchase the train to go on this new line so we'll go to our freight train depot we now have the china railway jf1 which is a pretty decent passenger uh, cargo train as we can see nice power and nice tractive effort in fact it's the top for both that we have available to us now given that we're going into the mountains we're going to need a high power train and I dare say we're going to double head this so it can really get back up that hill as quickly as possible. Cargo wagons then, we obviously want the gondola and we'll colour those. And we want quite a few of these. If we can get to 250 metres, what's that doing for our speed? Look at that, still absolutely fine. So we'll go for that. We want two of those, of course. So we'll purchase those. They are now going on the rice freight line for Iwanomori. They can find their way there because they can come onto the platform and then head up, so that's okay. 
we can see the rice has already started to be populated on the platform so what we can do now is get rid of all these vehicles we could use a keep them there until they run this platform dry but there's no need in that we don't need the money that they generate at this point so we're just going to sell them all off and then we're going to go to the line manager the rice haulage line which is this one here we are just going to delete it and there we go that's one of our initial original lines now upgraded and modified and modernized and we are now shipping it via rail we can do the same as well here with the bricks because as the as it stands at the moment they come all the way around Uwa Jima uh, sorry the stone comes all the way around Uwa Jima to be dropped off here and then obviously the bricks are loaded up and brought back into here for onward delivery into Iwanomori now what we can do is the same sort of thing over here we can flatten off a nice large area in this area here next to our industrial area we can have a station and we can hook up a line into somewhere along here so the stone would come this way much more direct in fact what we could also do is run the stone directly over here and have a station at the quarry and that would eliminate the need for this line here this intermediate delivery line which is bringing it down to the freight station we can cut out the middleman so to speak so let's go ahead and do that so first of all once again we're just going to flatten off a nice large area for us to work with and again we'll blend it all out once we are finished but for now that's fine and we can have a cargo terminus station over here first of all let's give ourselves a nice country road for it to be based on now when I did this in testing this did generate a connection to all of the industries in this little area hopefully it will do the same again just like that yeah it's a bit angular but it's no problem where are you going I got no idea and now if we put down a terminus station over here we'll go for two platforms initially we might need more later on we could utilize this for other things but for now two is going to work And what we want to do is bring it all the way down so the, the the terminal building is at the same level as the road okay so as it stands we don't have full connectivity as we can see we have connectivity to three of our industries but we don't have connectivity to the plastics factory or the second brickworks however that second brickworks can be brought into the equation by putting a road along here and connecting it into the access road to this station so we'll do that nice and quickly doesn't matter if it's not very tidy as long as it's connected in and in fact if we bring a road over here as well to run alongside this side of the industry that might now give us a connection to the plastics factory okay sadly not but that's no problem I dare say well the plastics are only going as far as there anyways we can see so I don't think we need that inter interlink there at this point in time so I think we're happy with what we've got so now I'm just going to quickly smooth off some of this terrain around this station because as we can see it's rather hideous thanks to the extensive flattening I had to do to give us a nice area to work with I still need to turn those tips off I keep meaning to do it it is possible obviously in the options and I do thank the commenter who reminded me of that fact it, it had been so long since I turned them off I completely forgot about that so there we go so we have a place for the stone to be dropped off and indeed for the bricks to be brought back so now what we need is to get a connection into here first of all so our brick train can just do a much shorter run from here to here now I'm gonna go ahead and say we'll connect into this section right here so what we're gonna do first of all we're gonna have a line that comes off the return track like this how does that look in terms of the overlap it's pretty poor can we just take the edge off of that a little about there will be absolutely fine and what we're also going to need is one coming into this line here now how does that look Hmm, it's not the best because we've got this weird 
bit of track here. Oh, pressed all the wrong things there. In fact, that's not the best either. Let's just redo that. We want it to be as tidy as we possibly can get it. Is that all of the track? I believe it is. So what we're going to do instead is come off a little bit earlier, a little bit sooner, like this. And we'll stretch it out to get as much speed as we possibly can. Okay, we slow down to 46, which isn't ideal, but if that's the best we can get it, then that is the best we can get it. We'll have to live with it. Might be able to rework it in the future, but for now, just to get us up and running, it's going to be okay. And we'll have the tracks run alongside the main line for a short while before we take them over this river here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the inside track here. Now I'm just going to temporarily get rid of this road. I mean we've already broken the connection anyway over here as we can see. So we'll come back to that later on if we remember. But for now we can focus on getting our line over the, over the river and under this passenger line here. And as we can see we can get a nice bridge. It's going to be a low bridge. But it is possible to get a bridge over this river without causing too many hardships. 49 miles per hour is fine, it's not too bad. I tend to aim for around about 50 where possible, so 49, you're going to take that any day of the week. Now where's our station? We're up there, so if we could just do a straight shot connection into here, that would be lovely. And we can, but it's giving us a tunnel here, which we are going to get rid of. And we are going to have to terraform around this area in the uh, once we're finished, but for now it's okay. So we'll accept that and then we'll double it up all the way like so and that looks fine nice speed 75 miles per hour again I'll just quickly sort this the terrain out over here okay we have an invisible tunnel here which we are going to get rid of we don't want that in fact I dare say we'll go back to what we had before where we just have a cutting in the hillside and we'll do what we did just a moment ago and just take some of the worst edge off of that by just smoothing it all out like that and there we go so now we have a connection over from here to our new cargo station over here we're going to need a diamond over here of course so we'll put one of those in now the speed isn't too much of a problem here because they're coming onto the platform anyway so they will be slowing down or they will just be leaving the platform so they won't be up to full speed at this point so if they have to or if the tracks are limited in speed it's not the end of the world what I'd also like to do is where's the line gone there come back yes what I'll also like to do over here is have a way for our trains to get off here into here just so we can send the trains from the depot onto this line straight away so let's do that so if we bring you off here and if we have you stay level you should be a nice sort of crossing there indeed you are the speed on this is not a concern because it is just a way to get the train from the depot onto the line so if it's got slow speed it's not a problem and then what we're going to do is now that we are level, how's that bridge? It's a bit close, but it'll be fine. Move the tree out of my view. And then this is just going to cross over and connect in like this. Nice and simple. I don't think we're going to need a double slip switch because nothing should have to come back this way. But just in case, let's put double slip switches on both sides and then this section of track here will be one way. So if we do need to have anything come down this way and onwards, we can do so. As I said, I don't think we are going to, but the option is there if we need it. So now what we can do, in fact we can't do it yet, because if we rerouted our, in fact yes we can do it, we can have our combined stone and brick train come this way into here. Then we're not going to need the intermediate road vehicles here. 
Uh, we are going to need them here for now, but we are going to change that as well in the near future to a train line from here connecting into here. So let's get that line on our screen. Here we are. So what we want to do is we'll pause it. You're not heading to the freight exchange anymore. You're now heading over here. Why can't you get back? We have... You should be able to come back. Oh, it's because you were on this line, weren't you? Well, we can sort that out by after this crossing here. Just put a nice, easy, simple crossover right there. We're going to need to move that because if we have the train stopping here, its back end is definitely going to be blocking this line in, which we don't want to do. In fact, we want to delete that one as well because we don't want the train stopping there and stopping all the way over here and overhanging and blocking the brick train. So we'll do that. That now means this line here is pretty much redundant because nothing should be coming down here. But at this point, you should now be able to head back. So let's see... Oh, it's because you're going for a signal there which you can't reach. Right, okay, so if we do that... There we go, that should be fine. And we'll just have that signal there and no other. That should be enough clearance from this junction here. And then all the rest of our signals will be on here. So we can have a train on the platform. We can have a train waiting here. And then any other trains will be on this stretch of track, which should keep this nice and open for the food delivery train to get through without having to wait for people to move out of its way. So given that we don't need this track anymore, I think we're going to just get rid of it. There's no point having it and having it sat there doing absolutely nothing. It'll only take us a minute to rebuild it if we need it back in the future, but I don't think we're going to. There we go, that's better. So now what we want to do is make sure we've got some signals in place so everything can flow freely. So first of all, we're going to want one there and one there, like that. We're going to want to have one there. We have another one there, that's fine. And then we'll probably want a clearing signal on these two outbound lines. So we'll put one there and one there we have that one there so that one's a bit short but it's fine and then we can just have a couple of blocking signals along the way here like that and another block over here like that and we'll have a stopping signal for the diamond and a clearing signal for the diamond as well there and then what we're going to do is have two bi-directional signals there to allow our trains to approach the junction uh, in preparation for leaving the station. And we want a bi-directional signal there and over here as well. I'm not going to have signals protecting this little junction because I'd rather these trains have the priority. And with the signals as they are, they should now receive priority for onward passage. Just smooth off some of this where that old train line was a few moments ago that we got rid of. And that should be a okay. So let's let that run. It'll take a few moments for it to kick in. At this point, though, we can now get rid of these vehicles. And again, we could let them empty this platform first of all. In fact, how much is on there? 294. I think we will allow that simply because we want to keep these two industries stocked with bricks as much as we can or stocked with stone but once this platform runs dry we can get rid of all those trucks which shouldn't take too long as we can see our first rice i think this will be our first is arriving let's have a look if it is the first no we've already had one already okay and what sort of money you should make about two million from testing let's have a look there we go, exactly, well, not exactly 2 million, but 2 million plus change. Our other train is just departing, so they've synced up quite nicely. As I said, I want one just departing here, as the other one is just departing here. And that does seem to be the way they've spaced themselves out, which is great. So now you're nicely stocked with rice, so you shouldn't have any further lulls in production. What do we have here? The Shinkaihen Class P6. 
is that a wagon I think it is and the Russian class SU we'll uh, come back to those a little bit later what we are going to do is just boost up the speed let these line changes take effect and properly bed in now you might have to stop for a moment oh no he should be timed pretty oh that's pretty much perfect timing there we go so that, yes yeah, that's one of our intermediate lines now removed another one is going to be removed in a few moments as i said we need to wait for them to clear all this stone off of this platform because no stone's being dropped off here anymore we're down to 231 what we also need to do very quickly i mean they're not bringing any bricks back with the looks of it because there's no need for bricks to be brought over here what we should be seeing are bricks being populated on this station and indeed that's exactly what we've got happening which is wonderful how much stone do we have in stock here none okay did you just make a delivery do we I would oh, maybe we need to ah yes 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 what we might need to do is just amend the line orders a little bit so let's just have a look here so anyone or more at the food production or picking up stone dropping off bricks that has not changed over here you want to be loading bricks and unloading stone like that there we go i think what we also need to do i don't know if i've done this no they are working fine i don't know if we need to change it from wait till a full load because it can't get a full load over here because it can't get the bricks it needs but it is departing the platform so it must be working okay so yeah we'll let it run at four times acceleration just for a little while just to see how things bed in let's have a look how this line's doing in terms of profitability it's never going to make loads or maybe it will it's going to cost about yeah just over four mil to operate the line and it's going to bring in about eight mil so that's really good and it's far more profits than the trucks were able to generate so that was a big positive step forward there How are we doing over here? How are you looking on your platform? 140, so you're pretty much nearly done. And in fact, what we'll do is, as soon as this train has dropped off the stone, that'll give these enough to tide themselves over until the next delivery. So we can then just get rid of this line without worrying about wasting the stone and these then running dry for a short while. So we'll let the train come alongside. What sort of speed are you able to do through here? Because it's quite hilly. 43 that's not too bad in fact what we could do because these are running the yeah that's class ye so that's actually hitting its top speed so if we wanted to we could we can have a quick look at the su that to me looks more like a passenger train I mean, it's got the speed of a passenger train and this one's got more tractive effort to get going from a standing start so what we're going to do is swap all these out for the china railways jf ones like that okay you've now dropped off stone so you should have plenty to keep it going so yeah at this point we can now just get rid of all these vehicles on this line so sell all of you and then the line itself can be removed so go to line manager this is this one get rid of it and that's gonna free up some of the traffic along this road as well actually which is gonna help our other lines in this area the fuel delivery or the fuel shunt lines are gonna be a lot better placed here on out so these trains are running through nicely let's just return to one times game speed now So you're slowing down because you're about to go on your junction which slows you down which is fine what I'd like to do is when you get to this signal just make sure your back end isn't going to be on this junction here so then if you do have to wait we know you're gonna be oh yeah you've got yeah that's cleared that that's fine want to make sure it wasn't gonna block anything in and it isn't so all good just doing a comparison here on our long-haul freight lines and um, we're the JF1 as we can see they are much better at getting up to speed and they reach higher speeds than the Russian class and was that the S yes it was so we're going to replace those with the JF ones as well the machinery freight line can also now 
be changed over and in fact this had double headed class S let's see how a single headed JF1 will compare no I think we are going to have to double head that let's move you to the front oh that's much better far 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 superior so these two have now been double headed with the JF1s and again get you to the front like so and we could also do the same with our coal and iron trains up here where are they here they are they're gonna be in this area here and if we go to the station then we can select both at the same time so con no don't configure the station not configure the lines so so we have a lot of trains here, but they are single headers. So we can do a quick comparison just to confirm that we're going for the better option here. 50, 50, 31. Oh, yes. Uh, it's marginally better, but it is better. So we can afford to run the better train. So why wouldn't we? That's the coal ones taken care of. And now the iron ore freight lines. Only four running this line because it's not traveling quite as far as the coal. And I'm not going to do the comparison here because if the coal one is better then we know the iron one is also going to be better because the trains are much of a muchness. There we go. So that's some of our trains modernised for the China Railways JF1 which is a lot more suited to the job that it was performing. And I'm going to leave it there for today. I know it's probably been a bit shorter than you on. I imagine after the editing we're down to about 30 minutes 20 25 minutes maybe so i apologize for that but i have work uh, very shortly so uh, yeah the, the, the time i have available is a bit limited at the moment it always is on this particular shift that i'm working but so be it i have uh, been going through the comments uh, there was one about how to improve the bus service in Iwo Jima. I didn't get around to it today, but it is something on my list. And the machinery freight train as well. Again, I'm, yeah, I've acknowledged the comment. It's a good idea. It's something we're going to do, but I just haven't got around to actually doing it today due to time limitations. So I apologize for that. So what we're going to do now then is we're going to take a ride on a train as per usual. Where are the other trains gone from this line? Do we only, where, where are they all? You are on the platform, are you? Yes. Just want to make sure all the trains are where they should be. You. Where are you? You're up in the hills, that's fine. And train 13, where are you? Oh. Tell you what. You're just sat there doing absolutely bugger all, which is holding everything up. So let's get rid of you. And if we need to, we can just clone one of you to get it back. So, in fact, yeah, we'll do that. Let's uh, manage vehicle and clone one of them. So we're back to the three. In fact, the last thing I'm going to do is they don't need three of the flatbeds. They can get away with two. So we'll reduce one of them, which is going to help their speed as well. So yes, as I said, we're going to leave it there for today. We'll jump on this train as it's about to depart and we'll take a ride. It's only a short ride through the hills into Iwano Mori. So thank you very much for watching. Again, I do apologise uh, that the episode is going to be a bit shorter than usual. I'll try and get back to the fuller lengths uh, in the near future. City Skylines will continue. And funny story, I actually recorded the next episode this morning and forgot to press record. So the, the next episode I do do will be a bit of a recap on things that I tried to do this morning that I forgot to actually get footage of. So I apologise for that as well. But City Skylines will be continuing and hopefully there'll be the video up in the next few days. For now, all that means for me to say is as always, ladies and gentlemen, you take very good care of yourselves. It's ta-ta for now.